This is a flank tower that you can attach to one of your external TCs to assist with raid defense. This base offers a bedroom to respawn in, a large battery, hidden traps, and over a dozen angles to peek from. Here's the cost to build the base, including crafting all of the deployables, which are also listed here. The footprint is six triangles placed in a circle with two door frames placed like this and a window in between them two walls on the other side, and then where your external TC is going to attach will be two half walls. The ceiling tile to the left of those half walls will be left open. Place your doors in a window frame, a wall for your TC room, and I recommend upgrading everything that I do here so you don't get foundation wiped. And then we're going to create a little unlootable TC room here, placing a window down in front of it. Our large battery will go in the next triangle over with a window in front of it. And then we're going to create the jump up to the next floor. And this is where a garage door will go. Don't forget to put down single doors in between here, creating an airlock on each side. And then heading up to the second floor, which is where our locker room is going to be, we will place two half walls like so above the TC and jump up, fill in the rest with walls, put two windows on those half walls, and then fill in the rest of the gaps with half walls like this, and your ceiling tiles will go down here with the right window being left open to jump up to the third floor. Then place three double door frames down with a window above your TC room and you can put an embrasure on here as well as reinforced glass window. And then this is where our jump up is going to go. Place your garage doors down when you get them. If you've only got enough for your locker room right here, that's good enough. Then we're going to set up the locker room by placing a locker as close to the wall by your window as possible. If you upgrade your door frames to brick, you'll have enough space to slide this box over a little closer so that we can fit our bed next to it. If you just wanted to put two small boxes here, that works as well. This is where we're going to store grenades and ceiling supplies and things like that, things that won't fit in our locker. And we're gonna squeeze our bed in right here. Before heading up to the next floor, we'll get our embrasures down on these two windows. And then we will head up and place double door frames in a circle around here on every socket. If you do have the Adobe or Brick skins, I would recommend upgrading to it because it'll reduce the hitbox. You will be shooting through these. Place quarter walls in a circle all the way around. And then we will be placing a floor right below here. Make sure you leave a triangle open so that you can jump up. This is the floor you'll be standing on to shoot from. And then make your way up on top of these double door frames and place triangle floor frames all the way around. And again, if you've got Adobe or Brick, upgrade to that. And the easiest way to place these roofs down is to go inside and then back up until you're standing in a different triangle. And then it'll let you place it very easily through here. I would recommend not skinning these to anything, only using stone or sheet metal default skins because it'll increase the hitbox and it'll make it harder for people to shoot you out of it. We are now done with a major portion of the base and we can work on the peaks that are used to retake control of our compound should you ever lose control of it during a raid or a PvP situation. It's basically just three squares with triangles in between them on either side and then by your doors you place two triangles that face outwards. This portion of the base is optional. These are called Patrico Peaks, I think, and it's basically just a window with a half wall and a half floor. And the purpose of one of the half floors is to block a blind spot so that you don't have so many angles to peek from. Uh, it's basically used in a situation where you're coming outside with no information and it makes it easier for you to you know, exit your base without dying. I've used these before in multiple online raids to retake control of my compound during an online raid, and they are extremely powerful because it creates a sense of familiarity and safety within your base. And this is especially useful if you're a solo or a small group and you're getting raided by a bunch of people coming from a bunch of angles. So again, this portion of the base is optional, but we do build our high walls around it. Also make sure you don't forget to put your embrasures on here because it'll make it more difficult to see and shoot you, but you'll have a bigger view range than the enemies will. Also, if you're using this as an external TC, I would recommend to upgrade both of those half walls and it disconnects and reconnects like every other disconnectable TC design. Just place a roof right here and you're good to go. You just want to make sure you don't place anything else around that area, which will break the detachable TC. And then we've got four walls that we're going to place basically connect it to that Patrico peak and try to place it as close to the base as possible like this and then repeat it on the other side. And then we've got two more walls that we can attach from the side of our compound like so. And what this will do is creates a little bit of a funnel and we're going to place turrets inside of those triangles there. 
And if you do end up having any blind spots like I have here where they can just wrap around the turret without getting shot by it, you can place some shotgun traps on these walls. And since they're within building privilege, they will not decay. You can also place shotgun traps and or turrets if you have enough power on the outside Patrico Peaks as well. And if there's some bushes or trees around that area, they make for some disgusting traps. Another optional step is you can build up nine double door frames high and place a wind turbine by utilizing these door frames here and placing a floor frame like that. You'll know you've reached the max height when this triangle that sticks out is at 5% stability. And now you've finished everything. This base is very good to use as a respawn point. If you die during a fight, you can come in here and it works especially well with an auto locker kit set up to an industrial system from your main base. So instead of spawning in your base, opening a bunch of doors, grabbing everything, running out of your compound, you can spawn in something that's already outside of your compound and ready to go with a kit in the locker. And if you are dealing with a situation outside of your base, you've got this 360 degree view on your roof, which is beautiful for defending online raids from. It's very difficult to see you up here from down below, and you can see quite the range out there. And as I was describing earlier while we were setting them up, you've got these Patrico Peaks outside that you can easily start pushing from you can be like, oh no, somebody's over there. Come out from this other side. You've got a window to see your back. And then you can slowly push your way out through the airlocks. You've got traps protecting you on that side. And you've got these amazing peaks so that you can make sure nobody's in front of you. And if there is somebody in front of you, they're going to have a very hard time seeing you.